Welcome back, everybody. Well, Will, we're just waiting to return. Here we are. It seems like 3D printing knows no bounds with the technology making homes, food, and everything in between. Hey, maybe they can make me a wife. They're going to they're, they're print something Not for you. Not interested. Like, like prototype parts for one of the most famous types of race cars out there. Uh, Gary Baumgarten takes a closer look at how it's revolutionizing the sport. I mean, it really is amazing technology. It is. So would you jump in a 3D printed car? I feel like you would. Uh, I would too, I think. Yeah, I think we could do that, right? Maybe in a controlled area. No, like, I would I I'd get in one of those Formula One. Would uh, you take it across the Washington Bridge? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I, would get, I, would get in, I would get in the car. Yeah. I mean, they really are, seem to be perfecting this stuff. They it's, seem to be, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's the worst that could happen. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's the worst that could happen. The, I just can picture myself standing by a, a printer. Is the car ready? Is the car ready? You <laughs> know, yeah. It's, it's being printed It's out. printing my W-2s and an automobile. Yes, no, I would I would get in. I think we're good. I think we're good with the 3D printing. Yeah, it's just incredible technology. You know, you see McLaren. That's one of the most recognizable names in motor right. sports and automobiles. Unbelievable. Yeah, all right, let's go. Let's start printing. Fire I up the I always think the McLaren F1. Leno's got one. He's got a couple. He's one of the few that has yes. that car. So. Yes. I maybe. bet he'll have a 3D printed car on maybe his if garage. He's, maybe if he's watching, he'll take us for a spin. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Not after that. <laughs> Efforts like these could help the sport of Formula One achieve its goal of being at net zero by 2030. Now, by 2026, officials add all F1 cars will be using sustainable fuel as well. Unbelievable. And in more car news, here we go. It's like Motor Trend TV right here. A classic vehicle is getting a special edition to celebrate 60 years of production. Awesome. Ford is releasing a 60th anniversary package Ooh, of its Mustang nice. model later this year. We want that. I can see you tooling around Main Strap Street. Strap a Roadshow logo <laughs> on the side of that. We're golden. <laughs> but it's limited, uh, of course. Now the the GT Premium model, which we would need, would be uh, will be available as a convertible or coupe, and will feature uh, special design touches, including a throwback grille. Well, we need that too. Uh, <laughs> the company says some of the designs, such as the red uh, bag uh, bagging, is a nod to the Mustang's debut at the New York World's Fair in 1964. Awesome. Look, it's a great looking car. I actually like that better. I wish they would actually take the electric Mustang that they have, because I think it's still pretty cool, yeah. and make it look like that. That would be, and that's look at, the look that I like. The wheels on that. Right. I mean, that's an awesome yeah. car right there. Yeah. I used to have a subscription to Road and Track magazine as Did a you kid. Really? I loved sports cars. Sure. So I always wanted, I mean, look at this look right here. I always right. wanted like a. Uh, like a Ferrari, that's the dream car, yeah, no, loaded and rich. Right. But my first car was a Mustang. Yeah. My brother had an 89 Mustang. He got it in like the mid 90s and then I got it next. Right. It, it <laughs> died on my watch, but it was high in miles. But it was pretty cool to have a Mustang. When, I, when my mother needed to get one, she was getting ready to have me. My cousin had to drive her to Memorial Hospital in a seafoam green 1968 Mustang. That's how I went. He's right. been riding in style <laughs> since before birth, hasn't what are you gonna he? Do? But what are you I would love do? a Porsche. Yeah, That's kind too. of a dream sure, car. Nice too, and right. the Lamborghini, the Countach, right. was like my favorite as a kid. Don't forget my 1987 Pontiac Fiero. Which caught fire. Two seater. <laughs> Did catch a little fire. A little minor technicality. Not a hot ride. <laughs> but it happens. Well, when it comes to the new special edition Mustang, only 1965 will be made, a tribute to the year of its first model. Makes perfect sense. Very cool. The company has yet to announce the price for the anniversary package. Uh huh. Mm, we need the anniversary package. On that.